good, man. Uh, I never been this calm in the, the, since I started uh, compet competing. You know, super calm, super focused, and uh, yeah, I'm just focusing on myself this year. I'm not focusing on no one else. That has been my biggest mistake in the past. Focusing on who I go against, you know. I started wearing a helmet these, these days here because uh, last day almost got knocked out, you know. Because as you see, the wind is offshore. When your board gets tangled on the wave, and then the kite pulling you, and then the leash stretch, and then it, the board comes back so fast. And I get a few ones on the head, and that I was pretty well lucky to run away. And I say I want to win this event, so I have to go all safe. I have to be in one piece in the final, you know. I don't want I don't want that to happen again. So let's go. As I say, it's really weird to feel this, uh, this calm because before I was always like tense and uh, some pressure, you want to do good. But now I feel like so calm and I, I think I'm performing. You see, my first hit has been well. Last year, my like, first hit, I was falling and my leg wouldn't, you know, a lot of nerves. But this year, I feel good. I just want to give the big show to, to my home country people and I can't wait. <laughs>
So in my competition days, <laughs> I don't want to keep her here, otherwise it's a mess. I try to eat everything, all my bags, that all the, the trees and everything. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Vamos, vamos, vai tranquilo. Tchau, tchau, tchau. Obrigado. Ah, valeu, valeu. Tchau, tchau. <laughs> it's a board that I have in to repair, you know, for this competition. Actually, my favorite board. That is a bit, it's not broken, but I have a scratch, so it's gonna get full of water. That's why I wanted to repair before the comp. Because, I mean, I'm not, I'm not the, um, how you say, I didn't get nerve when my best board uh, broke. I just stay calm and I have a backup and I, uh, Yesterday I used my backup, I was pretty stoked. But my favorite board right now is yeah, it's repairing, so it's gonna be ready in two hours. So I hope they don't do the, the finals because that's the board I want to use in the final. Yeah. So let's see. <laughs> prize money to my do for my dog to not escape, you know? And I use my prize money thing. It's actually really well, huh? Look. You know? Look at that. <laughs> Otherwise, my dog gonna escape, man. Last year, I was feeling like I was training every day in the sun. I was eating bad, stay all day in the water. But this year, I actually split my trainings. And uh, in the event, too, I want to eat good. Drinking a lot of water. Normally I don't drink a lot of water. But as I want to do everything it takes to win, I will do everything that I didn't do before. Drink a lot, eat well for energy and uh, yeah, feel good. Energy, I'm feeling really good. This morning I wake up really like energetic. Yesterday I, after my eat, I went straight to gym, to my trainer. And then we did some uh, mobility stuff and some stretching and some elastic to activate the, the muscle for this morning. And I wake up really good with no pain and everything. No, no, no. Hey! No, no, no. It's coming. You want? <laughs> In Brazil, they do this every day. Morning, afternoon and night. Here in this pier, you know, long time ago, I think I was like uh, two and a half or three when my sister like pushed me uh, into the water, I was almost drowned, you know, and then I thought drowned was so, so fun, that's why I say again, again, and she was pushing me again, you know, and then half a day I was already already uh, swimming. Then I start to do bodyboard, skimboard, you know? So, yeah, so I've been all my life on this beach. I was like five years old, by myself, you know? My mom working, and uh, yeah, this is like, this is what saves me and uh, uh, made me who I am uh, today. This beautiful beach here, this beautiful pier. And that is actually where I start to, to surf. The reef, I don't know if you can see. This little wave there. You know, we can serve there like this size already. I was in the water, which is nothing. You know, that wave there. Super cool. Without swim, don't know how to swim well, but I was surfing by myself. And there. Without fins. Without fins, yeah. <laughs> without fins and the, with a the windsurf board. That's the most crazy part, you know. I was starting spinning around like crazy. I thought it was really fun. You know, and then like uh, a lot of Tourist surfers were coming on the island, and then I uh, was lucky to find a, such a cool uh, tourist. That I, don't, I can't remember his name well because I was so young, and I lose contact. If I could write to him now, I will say thanks because he gave me actually my first board. Later, I will show you guys a picture I have in, uh, in my house with a yellow board. The board was like twice than me, you know. It was like this, like it's really small. I learned how to serve the hardest way possible, <laughs> without fins and like a really broken board. I was going to school, I mean, I, I tried so hard because 
My mom wanted me to go to school, all my family wanted me to go to school, my brother, my oldest brother was always there looking if I was there, you know. And then, I don't know, all my friends, they were like, they, they don't go to school, they were surfing all day, and I was a bit jealous, you know. And then they, all the time to, to like make a joke, they was like, hey, let's go, let's go, Ayrton. They were screaming under the window, so I heard. I say, wow, it must be a good wave. So when we have like a break from school, uh, I would like uh, jump the, the window just to go surfing. If it wasn't for escaping, I don't know if I would be here right now because like I think the ocean saved my life because I had, it's a sad story, but I had a lot of friends that they found themselves in this island with pretty much nothing, you know. And uh, because they didn't believe in themselves, they didn't find something that they like. And at least I found the ocean and the surfing that gives me joy, you know. Super grateful and uh, yeah, cool place, loving it. This is the magazine I was talking about before, you know. This actually is a photograph by Pascal Laborde. You know, it's like a French guy that came here to live like really long time ago. Actually, he was the motivation for all the surfers here, you know, because he was the oldest guy there that teaching all the kids how to surf. And he was always in the peak, like here and everyone here to the inside. And he was always like ripping the wave and it's crazy. And he gave me this uh, amazing present. And then when I watch to this photo, actually, man, look. Look who I was against with. Look, all the athletes. Bro, who is this? You recognize him? <laughs> That's me, bro. <laughs> I was like eight years old in Ponta Preta. It's crazy to, to look back in the days and uh, see now that I'm competing with the uh, world's best athletes now. And to see this picture yesterday, it gave me a lot of uh, great memories, you know. And uh, these actually these days, uh, everyone uh, wouldn't let me go on the water because it was a big day for my age, you know. To hide, to don't, to don't show others that I'm going to the water, otherwise they don't let me. I would go around to the right side of uh, Ponta Preta and get into the rocks so they don't see me. And then I get in, I get this wave and everyone was screaming like crazy to say, whoa, go and get him because he's gonna drown. But I didn't drown and I took the best wave of my life still, I think, because I, remember, I still remember this day and it's crazy and uh, I'm so grateful to, to be competing on the, with the most uh, strongest riders on the same spot where I, where I learned, you know. This is me too. Actually the first uh, strapless guy out there, you know, it's crazy and it's crazy even to see this photo and uh, know that I'm competing against him, you know has been the legends and the, he motivates me since kid, you know, always follow his style. For me, he is the, one of the best skaters in the world, for sure. Because without him, we couldn't, I don't know if Strapless was alive, alive or whatever, because he was the first in the world to, to catch big waves with the Strapless board and uh, it's crazy to see. No, shut up, shut up, shut up. My mom is more nervous than me. <laughs> oh, it didn't start. You're not going to water today. I say, yeah, mom, relax. When it starts, I go, I pick you up, and we go, yeah, no problem, you know? She's like, nerve. And uh, yesterday I was uh, there saying hello. And uh, she say like, ah, she feel uh, some good connection uh, with me this year. Uh, better focusing than uh, last year. So yeah, to hear that from the mom too was pretty good and uh, it gives me a lot of confidence too, yeah. So I, I won't uh, let them down this year. Today for me is like a normal day, it's like a normal training day. I had to get that for my focusing. I don't want to think about the competition. I just think about I'm going to have fun with like few other athletes in Ponta Preta. No. No. They want to lift. I say, no, no, go walk. <laughs> you know, when I was walking, when I was a kid to go serve, bro, man, was no lift at all. 
With the walk, every day to Ponta Preta. <laughs> no, later, say, go, go walk, go walk. It's my brother and friends. Oh man, I'm watching this picture like a thousand times a day. Just to keep the, how to say, keep the vibe and keep that one goal in my mind. And I didn't win here. That was just a hit win and people got crazy. Yeah. Can't imagine if I won. Belly Fernando. Gang, 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 gang. Manera, dread. Sorgado nervoso. Emozione. Emozione. She said too much emotions, you know. <laughs> no, but I can I can understand, you know. Like uh, last year was like this. We were like so so emotional, but then uh, then I didn't do what I had to do, you know. I was a bit nervous. But this year I feel, man, I feel it. I feel it. Uh, I want to make her happy too. I want to make all my family happy. And uh, as I was talking before, I want to have that happy moment, you know. To just to win and to, uh, to remember that moment for the rest of our lives. I have a lot of That's the same thing I, f I feel in this year, you know. Confidence. That's what she's saying now. She has a big confidence over me and uh, yeah. And this year I feel that confidence back too, so it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a one to remember. And I was quite tranquil to say that she was the future. Ah, yeah. Yeah, she said like uh, she was uh, relaxed because she felt that, that there was my future, yeah. you know? She felt something. <laughs> she said after like a few times that I escaped to go serve, the, all the... They closed me inside the, the, the school, you know, all the, the teachers, they closed me inside because they don't want me to, to escape to go to school, but I always find a way to get out, man. <laughs> yeah, she said that uh, I still have a teacher that uh, she, she was my teacher and she was really relaxed too and she wouldn't say nothing bad to me because she knew that I uh, was uh, loving the ocean. She knew that I, I wanted to be in the ocean and she still likes me and she's so proud of who I am today too. So it's really, really cool. Yeah. Obrigado, tchau. Good day, Dvi. Good day. What are you listening to? <laughs> Some chill music. <laughs> Morning music. Because uh, I don't want to be like, ah, I don't want to wake up the devil yet. No, the swell is there, the wind is uh, peaking, and uh, today I think it's going to be perfect direction, perfect wave. I think uh, we can have the best condition in uh, history. I feel uh, the good connection, and I have just one goal in mind, and it's to be there, bro. Mm. I get my crowd. I watch this every second. Keep that inside and uh, release it in the water. And hopefully get it through. Dream get through and uh, let's fight for it. In front of my crowd uh, is a big uh, emotion, you know. Everything can go wrong. But this year I control that emotion. So that emotion is not there anymore. It's uh, hiding somewhere. Uh, but I'm just so calm, man. Like, I don't know, every wave. I feel uh, really strong in my legs, no tensions, no pressure. So I think that's why I, I perform. And uh, yeah, man, end of the day, I, I hope I can have that big moment with all my family, friends, and all the people here. It's, like, it's gonna be the best moment. It's a lot, man. A lot of emotions, but yeah. Yeah, I feel it, I feel it, man. It's not done yet, huh? I broke almost my best board. 
but it's no problem. I, have <laughs> I think I have another one which is better than this. But this was good when it's small, and that is good when it's like power. So I think like if you keep going, I'm, I'm good with that one too. So yeah, I'm pretty good man. I have backups, I have everything. I have more than 10 boards, so, so that's not a problem. But yeah, can't wait man. I feel the connection and uh, now it's time to give a mom a hug. <laughs>